Kirby. Well, as you know, we've been talking about it all morning. Kiwi Anthony de Melmonch has been found guilty of drug trafficking in Indonesia. No surprises, really. Sentenced to 15 years in prison for trying to bring in 1.7 kilos of crystal meth. There's now talk of an appeal. Tom McRae is in Bali and joins me now. Tom, thanks so much for your time this morning. You've talked to um, his defence. Uh, what have the family and the defence been saying? Well, they I can't say that they're surprised at all with the with the 15 years. Um, they're probably somewhat relieved um, that this was an expected outcome, although there has been precedent where the prosecution has asked for um, just a jail sentence and the judges have ignored that and actually given a death sentence yeah. uh, previously um, a couple of years ago, I think, to an Australian woman. And um, so, so I think they're more relieved that that didn't happen, but I think they're now trying to sort of tiptoe through the minefield that is working out how do we appeal if we do appeal. Okay, so they, what we know is that they've got 14 days, haven't they, in which they can lodge an appeal. Now, they would have to be, you would think, slightly cagey on that because the prosecution didn't do much of a case and yet still he got 15 years. Things could get worse for him if they appeal. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's exactly right. Everything gets put back on the table again and if there's a new judge, judging panel, then they can basically come in and, and uh, do whatever they want um, and ignore what has gone beforehand. So that's the real risk here, um, whether he just sucks it up and, um, and probably if he takes it and accepts the sentence that he's got now, he could pro- possibly be out in just over 10 years, they, they think. But, um, you know, then you put back on the table that the, the death penalty and um, that's not something that they would want to do lightly. No, obviously it'll be really interesting to see which way they go on this. What is what sort of coverage is this getting in Indonesia? Um, a little. There's obviously um, a bit of a hangover from the from the Bali Nine mm. um, ringleaders who were executed just a couple of months ago. Um, so there is some interest. There was in, J- in the Jakarta Post, um, one of the big newspapers here, um, a couple of days ago. There was almost a softening um, of, of their on, on their stance against. Um, drug smugglers, especially the, the lower level, um, just the pawns really, and the, and the top dogs in the, in the drug kingdom over here, um, but very minimal. And you'd, you'd imagine under Jocko Widodo, the, um, the relatively new president here who's taken an extremely hardline stance mm-hmm. against drug smugglers, um, that it's not going to soften much, if at all, in the coming years. Um, obviously, the the defence in this case made a big deal of the fact that de Melmonch, um, uh, you know, was hampered by a, a lack of intelligence. Uh, it, it was felt that the prosecution did a really bad job in this, and yet still he was found guilty. Do the defence team feel like they've been hard done by, or is this just way? Is this just the way the legal system works in Indonesia? Yeah, definitely. It's just the way it, way it works. I asked um, the Balinese defence lawyer um, just after the verdict um, was, was read out today if this is just part of the course over here. And he sort of gave me a bit of a look and shrugged his shoulders and said, what can you do? Mm-hmm. Um, because they're just so used to, used to it. And I, it's so foreign to us in New Zealand that there can be a justice system like this because, you know, it's almost the, not quite the opposite of what we have, but not far off. In some respects, so um, I think if, if you know it inside out, then you've just got to go with what the court does yeah. because there's very little power that you have. Tom, obviously, you've been hanging out with the small number of other reporters that are covering this, and that was the overwhelming feeling when the penalty was handed out that this that De Melmonch is a lucky, lucky man. Yeah, it was, everyone sort of thought that he would get a um, a jail sentence of, of probably 18 years, so yep. to get 15 was more of a surprise. But, um, yeah, that, that, was, that was exactly right, Paul. Yeah, lucky, lucky man. All right, Tom McRae, thank you very much, Australian correspondent. By golly, you can go to paulhenry.co.nz and you can vote in our survey. What would you do if you were him? If you were sitting down there with your lawyer, you're facing probably, I would have thought he, he could do less than 10 years, actually, but say 10 years in jail. So you're facing 10 years in jail. Do you appeal that? Do you rattle the cage or not? It's 17... 17-